So I'd like to uh, give a warm welcome to uh, Victor and turn, turn everything over to you. I'll try to give you a couple of more, you know, stories of personal experience and uh, and things that I, you know, did and seem to have worked for me or, or ideas that, uh, you know, I, I think might work for you as well. That it's much better to work on stuff or do things that you really enjoy doing. It can be 10 times more productive if you're doing things that you really enjoy. Be like a child where, who just you know, learns pretty complex things by exploring and trying to change their environment. I wanted to have an environment where I can work with peers who are similarly motivated, highly skilled, and uh, and you know just to build a, a, that kind of company that that I figured would make sense. And if you're spending your own money, you sort of think about it slightly different. But I think the best funding is to have clients who actually pay you money for what you're doing. And uh, that's also a very good validation whether you're actually creating value. I think the lack of resources actually makes you very creative. So if, if you don't have the hundred million dollars, then, then you have to figure out how to do this effectively and efficiently and quickly because you just don't have time or the resources to, to waste. If you're an entrepreneur, then it makes sense to think about it early on and build, build a revenue stream. Go sell something and just, you can start small and grow from there, but I think that's a, that's a very healthy path. You should prefer revenue and building up a viable business over getting funding. The point is not getting funding, the point is to create something useful, valuable and so forth. Uh, to me, as an investor, I guess, investor head on, uh, what I would be interested in is how much money do you need to figure out what's the business model. Because creating value is not necessarily, you know, having a profitable company. And some of you sitting here may be interested in doing, you know, non-profit organizations and and, uh, and I think that's also very valuable. And I think you should also think about creating value in other ways as well that may not even have a direct impact on your personal wealth or, or you know, just make the environment better around you in some way. It's actually very easy to have some 
other activities where you can create value for your environment. And that's, I guess, the social responsibility. But it's really not that difficult to do. So you should probably do it. And it feels good. <laughs>